Amy Kelly, and I am the COO of Daily Clout, as well as the Program Director of the War Room Daily Clout Pfizer Documents Analysis Program. As a follow-up to the report I did on the COVID vaccine harms to sperm and testes, I also wanted to talk with you about harms to the penis and its functions. I did some research on this and it's very disturbing. One thing that comes up in the results of adverse events related to the penis is um, just general penis injury. It doesn't say more than that. But the other things it goes into are quite concerning. One thing it mentions is penile vein thrombosis and thrombosis is a blood clot. So of course that is always a bad thing to have going on anywhere in your body and seems particularly concerning in that area. It's quite rare and it's also often referred to as Mondor's disease. That's spelled M-O-N-D-O-R apostrophe S. Um, it's very painful to have. And again, that showed up in the Pfizer documentation as an adverse event. Another thing that shows up is penile neoplasm, which um, a neoplasm is a malignant lesion. It can be uh, on the foreskin or the end of the penis or on the shaft. And there's also something called penile intraepithelial neoplasm. Again, it's rare. Uh, it's a precancerous disease of the outer skin layer or the epidermis of the penis. Um, we probably have all heard of neoplasms and um, quite concerning that that would be an adverse event. It goes on to show uh, penile squamous cell carcinoma, which it says on the internet on medical sites is quite uncommon in the US typically, but it is being seen now as an adverse event of the COVID mRNA vaccines. You typically see it more in the underdeveloped world. Um, one thing that's frightening about this is that if it goes undetected for a while, it can spread to the lymph system and then start circulating throughout the body. So early detection is key with this. Um, and then also it, the Pfizer documents refer to penile infection as an adverse event that occurs. And that can mean a lot of things. Um, it could be from a yeast or candida infection, which we know from other documentation in the Pfizer documents is a quite common adverse event. Candida seems to explode basically in the human body after mRNA vaccines. Uh, symptoms of a penile infection include ulcers, rashes, sores, pain, itching, swelling, enlarged lymph nodes, and urinary frequency. Um, again, it's quite dangerous if it goes on and isn't treated. So it's something that should be addressed quickly. Of course, as usual, these harms were known during the clinical trials and they were not brought to the attention of people um, before the vaccines were rolled out. And thus, once again, men are not able to make fully informed consent based on this knowledge when they're going to decide whether they want to get an mRNA vaccine. So I just wanted to share this information with you as we continue to look into reproductive harms in women, men, and babies. And please share this information because it's important to get this out so that people don't discount symptoms they may be having and instead get checked out as soon as they can. Thank you. And I appreciate your time and listening to this presentation. Bye. Everyone, it's Naomi Wolf of Daily Clout. And I am asking you to please, uh, if you like the video you just saw, uh, support us become a member, donate. Um, you can send checks to P.O. Box 24, Millerton, New York, 12546, or go to Daily Clout, D 
D-A-I-L-Y-C-L-O-U-T. Become a member or donate. Thank you so much for your support. Every penny goes for paying our hardworking staff, paying hosting costs, and paying our lawyers um, who have been uh, leading the fight to keep you safe and free to keep the Constitution safe and to keep you